Okay. Hello, everyone. We're about to get started with top eight doubles here at the Big Keys 2. I'm just holding the fort. It's Big Win Beer, just until Oleg gets back from the bathroom. Yeah, and it's uh, Dubs here from SA. All the way from SA. All the way from SA. Well, I actually drove... Well, we had to drive four and a half hours to get here, because I live in Wyala. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, I used to live here. I'm from Piri originally, which is a not, not as long of a drive. It's about two and a half hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Moving further away. Still, still, yeah, I know. The things we do for employment. Anyway. Yeah, you need that dough. We, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, I haven't actually looked at the brackets. I'm not sure who we've got coming up for this you. This is Sebro and Lumidine, I believe, versus J Dizzle DD. Okay. The cool. first seeds of the tournament, J Dizzle yeah. and DD. Yeah, they got some nice little Mac, little jerseys. Yeah, the very courtesy nice. of Kez Dog. Thank you very much, Kez Dog. Yeah, they look pretty fantastic cool. Fantastic jerseys. I know, yeah. Jersey game on point for these guys. Okay. And I don't know too much about the, the other two. Sempro would be a Robert. Actually, sorry, yeah, I do know Sempro. And Lumidine is from Sydney. A, I think they played... <laughs> I won't pretend to know. Yeah, fair enough. Sempro plays Rob, right? And I think he's yeah. been sick. I think oh. from his Twitter, it looks like he... Stay away. Yeah, it looks like he wasn't having a very good time, but uh, hopefully he can bring his A game to this matchup here. Uh, I'm assuming this is like winners because um, it wish to be winners. Yeah, winner they'd semis. start with winners. Yeah. So how's you been enjoying it here so Not far? Great so far. How's your time been? Oh, well, I made it out of pools and singles oh. for the first time in a major, so I'm very loving happy. loving it. Yeah, it didn't do as well in doubles, but oh, I was more like still buzzing from singles yeah. when I was doing with doubles. So. So, um, do DD and Jason will sort of play like, does, do they play their mains? Like, do they just go with yeah, yeah, doubles? Warrior, like, Warrior, Warrior Young Link. And, and Young Link, yeah. Sort of the undisputed best static team in Oz. They won uh, Big Win Champs, and I believe they also took out uh, Super Smash, no, SSU, right. up in Queensland. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, nice. Yeah. So, um, Mishmash is still like, up there as well. Mishmash should be uh, second or third seed, perhaps. Yeah, right. Oh, well, double Rob, we okay. double Rob here? Oh, that's, this will be interesting. That's I wonder how many rotors we're going to see. There's going to be some rotors. I think we're going to see lots of nares. Oh, absolutely. Nairing back lots and forth. Of, yeah, projectiles. All right, quickly. Oh, like, he's going to be jumping on okay. the line. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Into game one here on Pokemon Stadium 2. We have uh, the team of Sepro. Uh, we've got Sepro and Lumi up against Jay Dizzle and DD. Oh, goodness double gracious. Robs. New South Wales versus Victoria. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Sepro? I guess nice. Lumi is, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, fantastic. A lot of stuff going on here. We've got two <laughs> Robs, a lot of projectiles, and uh, J Diesel isn't really going to help our cause here, but we're going to try our best to try and yeah, just this, look at as much as possible. It's going to be a minefield of uh, projectiles <laughs> here in the early going. Uh, DD, nice getting Sepro off stage. And Johnny trying to hold the fort down with the projectiles here. Yeah, I'm just going to preemptively say mad props to Didi right now for actually navigating this minefield so far and actually having the least amount of damage on him so far. So yeah, good on him. I mean, even like Didi's going to have the, the bike as well. So it is going to be really crowded in the middle. Um, <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Fortunately, like the stage is like reasonably wide. Um, so they should be able to like play around it a little bit. But uh, yeah, two robs is very interesting. Um, going to be able to like control the stage with gyros, um, you know, wall them off with the laser as well. And obviously Rob has a lot of kill confirms as well. Um, so God knows what two's going to have. Yeah, and Jeez, okay, always. so kills coming there, Sepro and Lumi. Oh, nice off smash there. Takes care of uh, Jay Dizzle. I feel like we're going to say that a lot as well. Oh. Nice up smash. Time nice up smash, yeah. Just, we'll preemptively say it now. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh man, nice by DD getting this combo started here on Sepro. Yeah, now everyone looking still relatively even too. That's right, yeah, everyone on, on two. So it's Jono keeping his stock fresh. Starting here on Lumi. Oh, going oh, incredibly Didi. high for it. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. Where are you going, DD? <laughs> Gets punished for it as well. And yeah, the, the Nair from Rob is one of the harder moves to deal with, especially in doubles. It takes up so much, so much space. Um, just like very easy to connect with. Yeah, and on top of that as well, it's just going to cover a lot of space too, you know, both horizontally and vertically. Oh, for sure. He's got he's got those options. Oh my yeah. god, sniping both of the blue team. <laughs> Alright, they're the going to look way. for a combo here on Jason. Nah, not able to get it. Didi breaks it up. Didi now starting to build that waft up. Oh, and gets him off the stage with the fight. It's a bit of a chomper there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. nice down there from Sepro taking out Didi. 
Ooh. Great combo okay. there again, the down throw into the forward smash. Now that's a, that is a uh, Sepro and Lumi classic. A classic, We yeah. saw that at OHN, we're going to see that again tonight. <laughs> Now they really need to get rid of Sepre's second stock here, see if he can hold on to it mm. and make Ooh. it count. Oh, goes for the waft, doesn't quite get the kill though. Still uh, gets a lot of damage though. Yeah, a lot of damage. Would, would have been, like, he would have wanted that to be on Sepre because that easily would have taken his stop, but... Okay, Speaking of. There he goes. Yeah, here we go. Everyone down their final stock. They Lumi, 120%. Incredibly dire. Yeah, so see if he can manage to make a comeback here. Nice work by DD. Alright, the Robs. <laughs> he just comes in. I do love that when uh, when both Robs are playing so incredibly uh, defensively just to oh, try and yeah. not get hit. Uh, Dita just goes in with the chomp and uh, they get the kill on Lumi as well. Yeah, two on one situation. So if Sephiroth can, can manage to steal a kill here and get it uh, into a one on one situation, it's going to be a lot easier said than done against the team of uh, Jadis and DD for sure. Nice, getting the old chomp and back at it again. 101%. Beautiful parry. Yeah, beautiful He's parry. He's Oh, interesting. Going to be some. going to be very hard, I would say, for Sephiroth to get back on stage here. Nice up here. That should take it. You would say, always oh, managed to hold on. Now, thank goodness that down smash didn't hit Jadis, otherwise that could have been a little <laughs> bit of a difficult situation. Oh for the blue team. Yeah, see, Didi was looking for the down air there. Oh, great Comes coverage the there. Chomp. Oh, gets oh, out. I'm not sure, quite sure what happened there. But, uh, and he goes for the chomp again. Yeah, I didn't even know that was actually possible to get out of the Ooh. bite like that. Yeah, okay, he manages to avoid the bite. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Sephiro. Nice work by Jay Dizzle. And Ooh, gets okay. him with the down air. Yeah, there we nice go. work. That's and what I call the uh, reverse Excalibur. Just puts the sword straight back <laughs> where it came from. Beautiful stuff there by Jay Dizzle and Didi. And I guess the the I suppose the weakness of Rob is that you know it is a is a slow moving character, not not ver super versatile, um, and can be comboed quite mm. quite easily, especially by you know a character like Wario, yeah. um, who you know links a lot of stuff together. If you're not DIing right, DIing right absolutely, you know, it can definitely lead into a waft to take the stock out. So yeah. Now on top of that as well, I mean, you, if you've got such a combo heavy character like Rob, but I mean, th I feel like they're going to sort of be relying on each other to try and cover each other's options. Yeah. When you've only got one Rob, and it's just two combo heavy characters like uh, Young Link as well as Wario, yeah. well, what can you really do? It's going to be a very hard one to win the 2v1. Yeah. Stranger it, things have happened though, so. The interesting thing is that there's going to be a lot of projectiles, but there's not really anyone sort of like with a, with a reflector or anything like that mm. um, in, in, in the game, so... Um, most of the projectiles are either just going to have to be avoided or just sort of dealt with or like shielded or parried or what have you. Um, so there's no real way for them to sort of hard counter the projectile and send it back at the team, I suppose. All right, here we go. In game two on FD. Yumbo <laughs> eats that. Eats that laser mm. immediately. <laughs> yeah, and that's you know, it's great. Obviously, it was funny, but I mean, it's also going to get him a bit of a bit oh, of waft sure. charge for sure. So he's a bit of a double barrel. Yeah, for sure. And, and obviously Didi was ready for that. <laughs> I guess like that, that can happen like the match just starts that you're like might as well go for it, see mm. if it hits and Didi What's gonna happen? Good. What's yeah. the worst? Yeah, exactly. Alright. Oh okay. Ooh, just going man. for the up air on J Dizzle. Don't quite know why, but he I mean he did it anyway, so <laughs> oh, bit man. of friendly banter. So much chaos in the middle right now. Oh and there goes an early kill uh, for the red team on J Dizzle. That's gonna be big for them to see if they'll be able to turn us into an advantage. Oh, Went for the F-Smash there on DD while he was... Oh! Man, nice work by DD, man. He's going deep. He's scaring oh, him off the stage. Scared. Yeah, Sepro not, not able to get back on stage. Uh, nice coverage though by Jay Dizzle. Oh, looking for another kill on, on, on Jay Dizzle. Manages just to make it back on stage. Oh, okay. <laughs> There we go. Wow, Didi throwing the uh, throwing the gyro across the stage, knocking away Sepro, and then following up the back air on Lumi. Wow. Yeah, and that and that gyro can actually be a real pain for Rob. You know, if the other teams are able to get their hands on it. Definitely. Yeah, uh, he's he's not a small hitbox. That's for damn sure. Yeah, and it, and the fact is, like after you throw it, it sort of bounces off, and you're able to grab it again and throw it at them. And Didi having an absolute feast off to the left side of the stage just earlier. <laughs> My goodness, he ate about three robots. Whole meal there for Didi. <laughs> yeah, that he, indeed it was. Oh, nice work by Jono though, taking Sepro stuff. Now, uh, actually, even though um, red team were able to get an early kill, it's still blue team who have the stocks here. With uh, DD able to hang on to his. Oh, you go, go, go on for an edge guard. Nice. Keeping the pressure on Sepro. Oh, it looked like that waft was uh, looking a little bit cooked here. Ooh, Almost ready. Not able to take it. Matter of fact, that waft is online, actually. Oh, oh okay. Well, it was just short. And uh, Red Team take out some stocks, so evening it up here, except the percents are very much in favour for Blue Team. <laughs> yeah, man. And 
yeah, that laser just covers the entire stage. So like, oh, nice work by Yuno. So like, even it can actually actually hit your partner if they're not ready for it. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah. goes as a straight line, goes straight through everybody as well. Yeah, so friend or foe. That's right. Ooh. Jono, nice work here. Oh, oh, oh my deep. goodness, he's going wow. crazy. And he survives? <laughs> yeah, he made it back. He must, what? I think he kept his jump. Like, he obviously kept his jump and managed to just like... Oh, oh see hey. ya. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Wario's just as amazed as we, are. we yeah, were. Yeah, I mean, he was like... Just like ah, he's like, might as well not bother. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it was a tough task ahead of him, so... But they did it in the end. Yeah. There we go, DD uh, taking it, it. Is it best of five? I believe, now that we're in the top eight, yeah. I believe it will be. Yeah, it should uh, be. They, so they don't look like they're leaving. So, no, uh, so a two a lead here for Jay Dizzle and DD. Mm. Nice work. Um, and yeah, not really looking like the double Rob's working out so far. Um, but still, both matches have been like gettable for Red Team. Yeah. At the same time though, Seb's got that uh, E3 2019 shirt. We might be able to channel some of that uh, big gaming energy. Yeah, we'll Let's see. Let's see if we can bring something back into game number three. Okay, complete swap off. Definitely going for a different energy here in game three. Swapping to Yoshi and Inkling. Okay. The double rob is dead, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Uh, this should be interesting. We'll see how, uh, see how Seb Pro is able to use that roller to get some kills. And obviously, Yoshi can be uh, is very well known for his spikes as well. A lot of spikes for, and, and just lots of moves that take up a whole heap of area, especially with the down air. Mm. We'll see how he goes. And just being able to jump out of a lot of combos that uh, I think the blue team has to offer. Yeah, and, and, and the armor on the on the jump that Yoshi has makes getting back on stage like, you know, uh, pretty easy. When, for sure. You know, especially if, if they're trying to hit you with projectiles, you just got to armor straight through it. Now, I, it's always great to remember, you know, it's always remembering almost for the first time. You've got KK Slider showing up again Saturday night. Your We're boy. having a party. Absolutely, man. Bring it. Bringing the crowd in, yeah. playing some tunes for us. Now, we've got him having a party it's for the for the first year of Smash Bros. You know, he's come back and he's like, I was here on day one, I'm here on day 365. <laughs> That's it, man. As uh, Red Team get an early kill on DD. And now Sempro trying to get this kill on Jono. Ooh. Sempro avoiding the up smash from Jade. Oh, man. And oh. the, the ink bomb goes off in it. Catches, believe me, but neither neither of them were able to. It was actually looked like a trade, I think, but neither of them were able to recover. So, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, both of them just kind of dropped down. Now, yeah. Didi was looking maybe try to try to save his teammate. Didn't really have much of an answer for him though. No. Didi. Now, Sebro is still on three stocks as well. Yeah, very good stuff by the Inkling. Now, if this were a uh, if this were a friendly match, you know, there'd be that one friend who'd be like, "Hey, bro, he's still in three stocks. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, let's get, get, him. Him. get him! Get him! <laughs> team up. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, Lumi doesn't really listen to them though, because nah. he is on the same team. All right, that should be done. Ooh, there, yeah, we there we go. And that bite, I mean, uh, Didi's really using that bite to good work. It, eating projectiles, but also like it's a command grab, so it's very easy to get people. You know, maybe a neutral get up from legs, just Absolutely. like trapping them, and um, yeah, and, and it kills too, as we just saw. So it's it's a really good tool for Warrior. Because yeah. it seems like the damage that they're getting, uh, especially from uh, especially from Jay Dizzle's, you know, all of his projectiles and whatnot, they're getting pretty high up, and so I think Didi's yeah. using that as a really great kill option. Oh, for sure, yeah, and and Warrior has no shortage of those. Absolutely not. Oh man. And DD now, now they're setting it up to cover both angles, but Red Team managed to get back on stage. And DD here, getting Lumi off stage. Yeah, Lumi just running to the other side, he doesn't want anything to do with DD. No, absolutely not, especially when he's got that wasp charged up. So, you know what, maybe J Dizzle might be the uh, better, <laughs> better prey. You know, I, I, I want to see how he's doing over there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, and the up smash takes it, and DD importantly manages to actually hang on to that waft. You know, he manages to kill him without using it, so that's a big win for him there. Absolutely. Yeah, any, any kill without the waft is a, is a great kill for uh, any Wario team. Yeah, he's taking a living lesson. So, red team on their last stocks here. <laughs> Not sure what that forward, that charge forward smash from the Inkling was about, but. My goodness, the, the match is now taken to the sky. Oh man. Yeah. Yep, oh, it. great punish for it. Through. And Jono didn't even die. Yeah. Jade is all still Man, living at 137. Dude, he's uh, really surviving. Yeah, he's, he's, he's tanking these stocks, making them worth so much damage. Yeah, he's called Young Link. He's not called, uh, he's not called you know, Light Link. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Yeah. Oh my oh god, he's just my. going for it. Wow. Double back air, and Glad he's still he's alive. He's still alive, but this is looking all but uh, sewn up for the, for the blue team right now. <laughs> he really wants to get the kill with the up does. <laughs> <laughs> really want oh, to make it work. He's going to get punished hard for it. Yeah, but... Oh! And then 
I'm not sure what. Oh wow! Well, I'm not it was sure a, what that was. <laughs> uh, down smash just straight through the shin of Yoshi there. Yeah, and uh, red team take it 3-0. Very convincing win by J Dizzle and DD. Uh, character switch didn't really seem to, you know, do do too much. Um, but yeah, that. Yeah, they've just got so much to like about this team. I mean, <laughs> uh, like, obviously DD getting the kills and, and JD is sort of really building up the percent with all the projectiles. Absolutely. Um, and, and and the edge guarding that we saw from JD there was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, the, Keeping people up with back air? Like, wh yeah, who does that? It's crazy. Know, and it wasn't just, you know... Um, getting the kills it was living as well mm. you know we saw you know he was able to go off you know with you know some might say some risky moves like up B or you know that kind of thing even like down air as we saw um, but he was still able to recover um, and keep his stock as well so Jay Dizzle played an important part in, in, in that win